seems nervous. I know. You should be thrilled. Marrying a woman who's smarter and better looking than him. So, you know, while we were fighting, when I was hypnotized, you talked about me leaving. Quiet. Here she comes. You may sit. <laughs> I'm just going to say this isn't going to be some long, drawn out, tearful affair like y'all are used to, OK? This is going to be a short wedding. I'm going to try and make it quick so we can all get to the bar, <laughs> OK? <laughs> I first met a young Jim Gordon when he was a uh, pain in the ass, moralistic rookie detective. <laughs> in the years since, he's evolved into a Pain in the ass, moralistic captain. <laughs> I'd say he's my best friend, but in truth, he's my only friend. So we'll skip that. Uh, on to Lee. Lee's always had his back, except for the time when she was infected with the crazy making virus <laughs> and she tried to kill him, but that's love. <laughs> but I will say, if there's one beautiful thing that's happened over these last few crazy years, it's that these two people met each other. And that truly is a beautiful thing. Jim, will you please take Lee's hand? <clears throat> Do you, Jim Gordon, take Lee Tompkins to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward? for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish till death do you part. I do. And you, Lee Tompkins, do you do the same? Sure, Harvey. I do. By the power vested in me, by absolutely no one, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife.